those things. Mm -hmm. And it reverts back all into your life as well. Right. And um, I had to, you know, like I said, reflect and say, what am I what am I doing? What do I do, need to do now? And I had to go through a process in order to get there. And I decided that a lot of times when people are talking or even me, when, how do I go about getting clarity about what it is that I want to do and mm -hmm. knowing who I am, I had to come up with a process. Right. And that process resulted in the book Imposter. And the word imposter came because we all are operating based on how somebody else has defined who we are, mm -hmm. what we see on TV way too often, right. and living, wanting to live life based on how somebody else is living right. their life, a job based on how somebody, what somebody else's job is. Um, again, living somebody else's life and not our own life, and that's being an, an imposter. And that is putting a shade over our own light. Right. And, you know, a lot of us are walking through that. And, and I laugh because when uh, Miss Gladys and I met, it was so funny because of the stuff I've been working on with my book. And that mine, mm -hmm. instead of being called imposter, it's roadmap to redemption. Yeah. Because I had to do that same process. You know, I had to sit back and figure out, okay, what am, what, what's really going on? Because I tell you, when that last one left the house, then it became I had to focus on Cherry. Cherry didn't have to do that for so many years, and now Cherry had to focus. So it was kind of a difficult process, and it's not a pretty thing, but it has to be done because you can't truly walk into your destiny or your purpose if you don't know what you're trying to walk into. So, Andre, um, what she explained about imposter, do you have anything you want to add to that? No, I just think that it's, it's so good because we all, at some point in life, we, we have that mask on. Um, we are we are afraid to be at a location, which I'm talking about me, and you, you're there, but you want to leave. But like I said, but you get in your comfort zone and you you play the game, you you act the role, but all along it's like your know, mind is somewhere else, you want to be somewhere else. And like I said, life is too short. It's time for us to take the mask off, stop being the imposter, and get out there and do what we was created to do. Yeah, and really understand why are we operating in that mode of operation? Why mm, do so we good. stay there? Right. And so I, I take people through in the book the mindset of limitation and the right. mind viruses that we go through. Do I feel worthy of success and love and peace right. and joy in my life? Am I good enough, men? Do you feel good enough that you are good enough to be this role model that people hold you up to be? Right. Do you feel capable to get outside of your comfort zone to go into that next role? Right. Do you even have the desire? Right. And see, and a lot, of, a lot of the women, what we'll do is we'll look at the ne next person like next to us and be like, oh, I wish I had what she had. Exactly. Or we go do all these things to change who we are. And what I want people to understand, it's okay, you know, to do things to make yourself beautiful or whatever. But when you go to the extreme to where you're bleaching your skin or you're denying who your heritage is, that's a form of self-hate. And, you know, and nine, nine times out of ten, people are like, why do we have self-hate? Well, it's the little subliminal messages that are out there. You know, they think that beautiful is European look when it comes down to modeling. Or, you know, dark-skinned um, individuals are told they're not cute or beautiful because their skin is dark. You understand what I'm saying? And it's, it's in, within our own communities and our families that we get these negative things and we hold on to them like they're the uh, scripture in the Bible. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we, we have to, where do we start at breaking down those barriers? You have to be, get confident in who you are from the inside out. Mm -hmm. We work the outside in sometimes. Right. And really, it doesn't matter the outside. You have to get on the inside and figure yourself out on the inside and really understand what are you scared of? Why am I staying in this relationship that's not a good relationship? Why am I staying in a job that I know I don't like? Why am I staying and, and taking this crap from somebody else? Why am I allowing somebody else to tell me, well, you know you need to go and do that, when in your spirit you feel that right. something that starts tingling inside you. Say, 
oh, that's not really what I want to do, but you go do it anyway. Because Why acceptance. Why is that? Acceptance. We have been programmed in our lives that you aren't anybody until everybody likes you. So this society that you have now is all about how many likes I get on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or whatever. It, it's They're so consumed at what others think of them, they don't even know what they think of themselves. And a lot of times, and I said this before and I shared in my book, it I talk about how I was walking around thinking I was looking one way to other people, and when I sat down and assessed myself, I was really looking a hot mess to folks when I thought I was looking some looking some other type of way. Mm-hmm. You know, so I think that's where it is. Like you said, we just don't know, and a lot of us are shy away from doing self-evaluations because we don't want to see the ugly or be reminded well, of the ugly. Well, it's, it's, um, it's deep. I've taken some clients here, and I was just talking to one of my clients, and she was going through just that first chapter of getting clarity of purpose and mm-hmm. figuring out who she is. And she said she just had this emotional outburst, and mm-hmm. I do get that because it's like, right. oh, my God, now I get it. Right. Yeah. And seeing that, like, now like I'm figuring it out. Exactly. When I sat down a few years ago and started doing that process for myself, it was it brought back all kind of emotions. Yeah. I didn't know how to react. Andre, what do you have anything you want to add to that? I just want to know, uh, Ms. Glassman, what do you tell a person that they've been on the job that they feel like because of their age, it's too late? They have a passion, but hey, it's passed me by. It's too late. So what type of advice would you give that person? Let's say he's a person 60 years old. Well, you're talking to me because I'm 65 years young, <laughs> right? There you go. And so right. it's all, again, inside out. That's why I named my company Ignite Within, because you have to go within at that point where at any point in stage in your life, you have to go within and figure out again, what do I want? <laughs> Why do I want it? I had to go through that process. And anybody who is 60 and feel like that, okay, they need to go ahead and start getting the burial grounds and things like that, (laughs) there's a reason for you going through that process. So I I take everything back to what are you scared of? What is that fear where you think that you uh, cannot have further accomplishments after the age of 60? Right. Because I had to go through that. After IBM, when they left me, what do I do? Well, it's not even 60. You run into it as it, you run into when you get to, I want to say 45 is when you start seeing the reality of things. Because I know for me, um, I will go out and I've done this since the year that I've been in school and doing different things. I've applied to jobs and I've kind of dumbed down my, re- my resume because you don't want them to know everything that you know. But they go and look at your LinkedIn page, and I've had people tell me, you got the experience, we want to hire you, but you ain't going to stay here. You're just not. So we don't want to waste the time. But when you are confident in who you are, are, you don't need it. It doesn't matter. Right. Somebody can reject you, and it's like, okay, that's not for me. Right, and then that's how I look at it. you go on to the next thing. My thing is or I look at Or do your own thing. Right, like that's I'm how doing. I looked at it. I was yeah. like, you know what, maybe it isn't for me to be sitting there behind somebody else's desk and continue to build someone else's legacy when I can be building my own. Yeah, because then you're allowing someone else to define who Who you you are. are. Right. And that's where you get into being this imposter because then your behaviors take that on. And then my thing is you're letting them set a dollar amount up to your worth. Okay, you're worth that 35,000, 120,000. That's all your worth is. And I I had when I was doing my process for me, I realized (laughs) there's not enough money here. For this company for me because I had to really buckle down and figure out what my value was not just monetary but what my value was to me Mm -hmm. you know and a lot of us we don't value ourselves yeah Andre what do you think about that oh I think it's so great um we have I think that's one of the most important things but uh um Miss Gladys was saying you know success is an inside job everything's on the inside as long as I take care of of my insides, what's on the inside of me, how I feel about myself, everything on the outside is going to start working out. Yeah. Things that I, my vibration, whatever I need that comes into my life, it's going to start happening because of the way I feel on the inside about myself. So, so yeah. good. Yeah, and when you are at that age, whatever age that is, and you want to make that transition, right, or you've been forced into a transition or you need to make one, you really want to, well, what are you uncertain about? You have to ask and answer those questions. What am I uncertain about making this move? 
so that you then understand what do you need to do to mitigate that. Boy, if something happens and I make this move, I don't know if I have enough money. Well, right. what do you need to do to start saving money? Right. And, you know, a lot of us don't know how to do that. And, and we say we don't have enough money to save, but we're going to talk about that because you do have enough. Yeah. Um, when it's detrimental to your success personally and in your life, Downsize. You, you have to make sure that you don't try to keep up with the Joneses, but keep up with yourself. Stay yeah. tuned, guys. We're coming back. <laughs> Hi, this is Terry Crews, actor, former football player, and father of five. I'm also an expert on drama. There's a good kind that comes with having a house full of kids, and there's silly drama like the drama around my percolating pectorals. And then there's the drama you can skip. Skip the drama that comes with not having your high school diploma or equivalency. Find free adult education classes near you and finish your diploma. Visit finishyourdiploma.org. That's finishyourdiploma.org. And lead the drama to actors like me. Brought to you by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ed Council. People are always looking to invest in a good opportunity. So what if you could invest in the future of kids, like a stock? Not the kind of stock that's about making money, but a stock for social change called Better Futures. With your investment, it helps students like me go to college. My name is Charles, and I'm your dividend. Invest in Better Futures with UNCF. Visit uncf.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. Brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. Okay, so five tacos, a cheese, and a large soda. That's $10,012. Please drive around. Wait, 10000 what? It's obvious you're buzzed and driving. I've only had a few. I'm fine. Yeah, the food's 12 bucks, but getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Please drive around. Actually, just park and come in. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Oh, long time no see. It's me, the rock t-shirt in the back of your closet. Dude, remember? You crowd surfed in me, man. But you haven't worn me in like forever. I get it, you're retired. But I still got some rock left in me. So take me to Goodwill, where I can really make a difference. Your donations to Goodwill create jobs, training programs, and education assistance for people in your community. To find your nearest donation center, go to goodwill.org. Donate stuff. Create jobs. A message from Goodwill and the Ad Council. And so a new American industry has been born. Sensation Station Network. Hey, welcome back to Destiny Talk Live, guys. Um, we're talking to Gladys Aguay with um, imposter um, and that's basically looking at who you are are you wearing that mask are you being someone who you really aren't you know are you changing who you are to fit into somebody else's d destiny or their design for you if you're listening to us guys we are on uh, periscope as well i shared the link on facebook but if you guys want to call in or talk or comment on it the conversation we're having, it's 678-613-5857. And I have my co-host here, Andre Tate, on the line. So, Miss Gladys, um, we always talk a lot about with our women and our men, and we like to tie it in to family and how um, us being imposters can really affect the family. What are some issues that you have or things that you've ran into talking to individuals that it seeped over into their family life? That whole uh, conversation around, I always go back to what are, what are those fears mm -hmm. and those mind viruses, those negative thoughts that you have swirling around mm -hmm. in your head. They're infectious, just like a computer virus or a flu virus. When we get into that neck, I'm not worthy mm. of success. I'm not worthy of love. I had that issue about not being, feeling not being worthy of love, and it related back into the relationships I was having with men. Mm-hmm. Right? And see, it, it's what you, um, what you see or what, what is in front of you. So we limit ourselves with that, and we, that's how Absolutely. some of us fall into these relationships where if someone is constantly talking down or abusive to you, why are you there? Right. But it's not as easy to walk away as people may think, you know, because you have to really get yourself together to get the courage to walk you have away. To figure yourself out to say, why am I My, there? there? Right. And so when you are in that those mind viruses and that mindset of limitation, you will never reach 
you can only go as high as that cap- your capability, that level mm-hmm. of, of mindset that you have. And that then will impact your family. You won't be able to have the success that you want to have that right. can revert back into your family. Right. Right. You will have that attitude and that frustration and that anger all the time because you're not happy. You're not satisfied. You don't feel liberated in who you are. And then you take that out on others as with your family, your friends, mm-hmm. your spouse. Right. And so that's how it really we really have to go in and sit with ourselves and understand who are we? What do we want? I want to go and make this move, but I'm feeling some anxieties around doing that. Well, Mm -hmm. why am I feeling this anxiety? Where is this anxiety coming from? Because unless you figure that out, you won't ever make the move. Right. You'll stay stuck. Andre, what do you think about that? Uh, Yes, uh, I would say. I mean, Ms. Glenn, so, so you you would say that your thoughts play a major role in your success and getting away from, I would call, necrosis, uh, death thoughts in your life. Is that true? Yeah, I tell people, don't believe everything you think because we tell ourselves all kind of stuff about ourselves. Right. And allow other people to tell all kind of stuff about ourselves. But I say believe absolutely everything you feel. That anger, that sadness, that joy, that frustration. Because that's telling you something. That something is not right and I need to make a move. I need to make a change. And you need to pay attention to that and you need to do something about it. All right, because if you don't, you're going to stay stuck. You, it's about you're gonna, staying stuck. And then stuck. it's going to seep over to your kids. Your kids are going to grab that mentality. And I believe this is where generational curses come into play. Absolutely. And we have to learn how to put a cap on that, stop limiting ourselves from reaching our full potential or destiny. But, again, guys, like we've been saying since we started, you got to start with yourself. I Attention, licensed financial professionals. Are you looking to provide client solutions for longevity risks, withdrawal rate risks, and sequence of return risks? If you answered yes, then Game Plan Financial Marketing could be right for you. We help financial professionals at every level of production by providing mentoring, sales training, and marketing support to help you grow your business. At Game Plan, our top priority is supporting you and helping you reach that next level of success on your terms, not ours. New team members receive a personalized step-by-step marketing guide to help take your business to the next level. Claim your copy today. Call Brian Cantrell at 404-889-6317. That's 404-889-6317. Offer is intended for licensed insurance professionals only. Do you love great fitting jeans with trendy styles? Go to wristdenim.com and check out their fabulous form-fitting premium denim jeans, sizes 1 to 24. Their accurate size charts are designed to make your online shopping experience easier. Offering free shipping and no hassle returns because their motto is, you should look your hottest at all times. WriskDenim.com, jeans for beautiful women. If you want to stand out in a crowd, get your jeans today at WriskDenim.com. You use Tearless Baby Shampoo because it's gentle on your baby's eyes. You make sure his toys don't have any sharp edges. You always test the bath water to make sure it's not too hot. You taught her what to do when the smoke alarm goes off. You make sure she wears a helmet when she rides her bicycle. You put on his sunscreen, even when he's embarrassed his friends will see. You do so much to keep your child safe. But are you using the right car seat for your child? Is your child facing the right way in the car seat? Is the seat too big or too small? How do you know when it's time to move your child into the next type of seat? Car crashes are a leading killer of children ages 1 to 13. Protect your child's future at every stage of life. For information on the right seat for your child, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. That's safercar.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Having trouble finding Connor's middle school? Would you like directions? No. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. No, I'm, I'm tired of fighting with him over homework. 
Home, walk, restaurant. Need a review? No, I need help. He's very smart, but his mind wanders. He's disorganized. I think I understand. Oh, good. Finding best potatoes for french fries. No! Russet, fingerling, Yukon oh, gold. Why don't you understand me? Sorry, I was trying to show how Connor feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. For the one in five kids with learning and attention issues, this is what life can feel like. Explore understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues designed to help your child thrive in school and in life. Understood.org, because understanding is everything. Brought to you by understood.org and the Ad Council. You think you can do this to me? I'm the man up in this piece. Sensation Station Network. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Destiny Talk Live. We are asking you, are you an imposter? You know, I know some of us are accused of being imposters. I know I was for a long time. As Gladys came on the carpet. Andre, so we're going to ask you, have you been an imposter at some point in your life? I don't think he did. Okay, so, um, Ms. Gladys, I guess we lost him there for a second. So let's let's talk about this. This is an open forum where we talk about things that um, are concerning us. So I mentioned earlier when we talked about Kanye, and I want to kind of hit on um, Bill Cosby a little bit. I know a lot of people are upset because he was the dad figure, the positive role model, and um, they just think these women that felt violated or were violated were wrong and that we just attacked another black man. What are your thoughts on that? He was operating as an imposter. Okay, so I, <laughs> you know, my thing is, you know, there's a lot of things that we do and we hide. And what my mother used to say, what happens in the dark is always going to come out in the light. Yeah. But what people fail to realize, he was playing a role, a character on TV. Right. It didn't mean that that's what his life value was in exactly. the back. And then we victimize the victims all over again because we're mad now because this man was convicted. But. I hear what they're saying on the other side, but you, you've got other people out there that are doing things that haven't been called to the carpet. So instead of being upset with, that Bill was, why not bring attention again, the others, to the limelight? I just say that you reap what you sow. And you, we, don't have a, we, we have an opportunity to make choices in our life. Right. But we don't get to choose the consequences to those choices and when those consequences are going to come to be. Right. And so we, and I think especially in the African-American community, we have to be very careful about doing things that are not, um, that can be scathing. Right. Well, and it, even in, well, I don't care what community you're in, yeah. you have to be careful on, on the mindset of who you are and what you're doing. You know, so I can't pass a judgment on this man because I wasn't there. I don't know. We only have to go by what the evidence is and what the people were saying and who proved their case. But it's like you said, he was walking around as an imposter. And I like I want people to understand that a lot of time these actors and actresses, they play a certain role on the TV, on the screen, does not necessarily mean that's how they live their life. You know, I'm compassionate that he's had to go through this process and all of that. But he went through years of people not even knowing that he had done that or people knew and they didn't do anything about, about it, it and didn't believe the women. And so I have some compassion that at this stage of his life, this is how it's ended. His right. legacy is it's ended. ended. Right. And for his wife as well. well. However, he did the deed. He did it. You know, and, and so now you have to reap the, re the repercussions right. from that. And I'm not going to say you don't deserve to reap what you sow. It, you know, you're never too old or too young to surface, suffer the consequences of an action. You understand? And so, there's no time limit on right, that. Right, there's no time limit. So, Andre, what do you, I don't know if you've heard part of that. What is? What do you think about that, what we were saying about Mr. Cosby? Uh, I heard part of it. Um, one of the things I think about, like uh, Ms. Gladys was saying, you know, at that age, I mean, one minute you kind of feel sorry for him, but then I turn it back and I look at what what if that was one of my daughters? And so, like you said, you sow what you reap. And at this point time, he, he is reaping what he's sowing right now. Right. And, you know, we have to look at it, too. And like you said, I'm glad you said that, Andre, because we said, um, you know, what if it was one of your daughters? Um, something about women who have been raped, molested, or have been through that, they don't talk about it because of fear that no one's going to believe them. 
Okay. And then it takes courage. So you're saying that the, I hear comments saying these women waited all this time. Why this time? Well, this Me Too hashtag movement um, brought a lot of women. They felt like now I have somebody on my side. Now I can say those scars don't go away, people. I mean, once that deed is done to somebody, whether it's a woman, man, child, whatever, it sticks with them for the rest of their lives. And they go through battles of what What can I, you know, can, is anyone going to believe me? And then it affects them sometimes in love and in life. And I'm a hashtag me too from corporate. I mean, so it happens. Right. You can't say that it does not happen. And it didn't feel good. And, you know, you have to come up with, well, what do I do about this? Right. You right. know, right. And so many of us go through years without opening our mouths yeah. and what, without saying anything. And I think when, when, not I think, but when I was doing my process of me being an imposter and going to, to, through my road to redemption, those are a lot of demons I had to come to face with. I had to realize, hey, this isn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. Right. I mean, that, you know, you were just put in a situation you had to deal with. And now you got to let it go from consuming your life. Um, because you're not going to be able to be who you are destined to be because you're letting this nonsense hold you. And, you know, and what I also, you know, coach clients on is when those situations happen to you, a lot of times we want to point that finger out Mm -hmm. to Bill Cosby or whoever. And when I say, yes, he did wrong, he shouldn't have done that. But what's most important is that you bring it back into you and say, why, what is it that what Bill Cosby did or whomever in my life did or situation did, what, how, what, why did that trigger this emotion of anger and frustration and all of that in me? And am I defining myself by something like that? And a lot of us do. Right. Um, and a that's lot of what we do. don't want to do. We need right. to recognize that mm-hmm. and not allow ourselves to be defined by it. Yeah. Now, right. what I like is we had a young lady that... Um, I grew up with, and she shared her story with us online here, um, just about how she was raised and how she was pimped out by her own father, you Mm. know, and different things. And, you know, and she talked about how tough that was for years. She, you know, was the way she was because that's what all she was ever told she was going to be was nothing, you know, and um, having her son being the, her father being the father of her son you know that's some that's some tough stuff but what i applaud about her is she's not letting it continue to define her life she talks about it now she gets out there and she's trying to other you know let other women and know hey you're not alone i mean and it she got the courage to come forth and she said look i don't care what people think about me anymore this is i gotta get me right and it's so liberating yes i i'm telling you i've never felt so liberated Right. As I am now, because I'm confident in who I am. And I think that's what's happening to her. What do you yeah. think about that, Andre? Yeah, I mean, it's so true. Uh, even today, even though she's out reaching out to other women, letting them know exactly what went on with her. But look at the how deep this thing went, because today it's still, to some degree, it's affecting her. Right. Because She's getting healing layer after layer. So right. there's still some things there. But yeah. she's getting help. And I like that. I mean, and I, I encourage her every time, you know, she's talking or whether, whatever. And I, I like to say to her because she just don't know. And I tell people this all the time. You never know whose life you're going to save. By, right. by a story, a smile, story. Or, or whatever. You, you're helping someone get through a difficult time in their life. And if they hear it, they were like, oh. Okay, I can handle it. I and can get through that. And you're also healing yourself. Right. And I tell people that all the time. You know, I realize that what I went through in life and the things that I encountered wasn't for me. It was for somebody else. You yeah. know? But it's getting to that point to say that it's, you know, it happened. It ain't going to define me anymore and I got to move forward. When we get back, we're going to come back and talk a little bit more about what our men should do, our women should do, and family. And we're going to dive deeper into the imposter. I don't want to give you all of it, but we're going to ask her some things that she shares in that book. So stay tuned, guys. Hey, Brenna. Hey, Prime. Spring is in the air. Oh, yeah. Love is too, and the weather makes it nice to be out with your boo on a date unless... 
You don't have any money. That's so true. But what are we going to do? The Loop is going to look out for the people because our loyal listeners look out for us on SSNATL.com. Radio not them down. Now, we want you to share the good vibes with other people, those you like. Or even the ones that you don't like because, hey, they need it too. Plus, we got enough to go around for everybody. Oh, so share and share alike. Oh, absolutely. Like the post, tag five of your friends, and share the live. When you hear us say, you know what to do. Tell them we are, so you can get this quick trip gift card right around the city, 285, 75, 85, top down. Mm. We're blowing your head back, and the gas is on us. Maybe some treats, too, so do this. Like the post, tag five of your friends, and share the live. When you hear us say, tell them we are, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. when you're inside the loop with Sean Prime and Brennan B. Well, you'll see what happens. Sensation Station Network. You don't know the power of the Sensation Station Network. You know the power. Do you love great fitting jeans with trendy styles? Go to wristdenim.com and check out their fabulous form fitting premium denim jeans, sizes 1 to 24. Their accurate size charts are designed to make your online shopping experience easier. Offering free shipping and no hassle returns because their motto is, you should look your hottest at all times. WristDenim.com, jeans for beautiful women. If you want to stand out in a crowd, get your jeans today at WristDenim.com. You cannot let a fear of failure or a fear of comparison or a fear of judgment stop you from doing what it is Let's talk about destiny. Destiny Talk. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Destiny Talk Live. If you're joining us, our conversation today is, are you an imposter? We have Miss Gladys here in the house and my co-host, Andre Tate, on the line. And we're trying to figure out how do we get from behind this mask and wear our own face and be proud of it. If you're listening to us on TuneIn Radio, go ahead and type or uh, call your comments in to 678-613-5857. Or if you're looking on Facebook, there's a link on there for Periscope. Go ahead and click it, and then it's join you into the conversation. And then we'll still be able to talk about it. So, Ms. Gladys, in the book Imposter, you know, you said it was a self-help, and it walked you through, and you said, hey, I need to do this book for someone else. And we talked about a little bit of how men are now starting to open up. Do we have men that, um, what is some advice you'll give the men out of the book or, or an exercise that they would do? Um the first two things in the book, mm-hmm. and I talked a little bit about the strategic life map. Mm-hmm. Where are you with life balance? Okay. With your health, your spirituality, your friends and family, the love in your life, your career purpose, your financials. Mm-hmm. You need to understand that mm-hmm. all of the time, right? But the next most important thing is clarity of purpose. That's the second thing. And what are your talents and gifts? And you would be surprised if when I ask people, well, what are your talents and gifts? They can tell me what, they, what they're not good at doing. But they can't but, tell you what they're good at. But saying what they're good at doing, it's really difficult for them to do that. And I say, well, just do a brain dump and just kind of just do that out, and then you can sort it and categorize and those kinds right. of things. Yeah, I do that. I call yeah. it mind mapping. If exactly. you do a mind mapping exercise, it will help you get a grip of who you are. So, right. yeah, I like that, you know. Yeah, and then once you understand your talents and gifts, what's really important is for what purpose do you want to use those talents mm-hmm. and gifts that align with what passions to impact who? And what are the values that all you always want to be embedded in everything that you do? Right. And then what is the personal outcome that you want to receive by living your purpose? Right. So, for example, I want to use my talents and gifts for the purpose of bringing out the potential in others, giving guidance right. and direction to impact women and girls. Men, you can come along. Yeah. With my values always of integrity and excellence in all that I do, mm-hmm. and what I want to get out of living my purpose is to be valued, to be of value, and to be financially secure. Right. It's not about a job. Right. It's not about a career. And then you take that and say, well, how can I monetize that? Right. And that that's and that's how I came to be doing what I'm doing as a coach, speaker, right. trainer in my business. And I think that's key because that's that's kind of where I found myself just a year and a half ago um, to where I needed to do that for me. And my destiny, destiny talk was the goal is to um, 
re, uh, respect, appreciate, and value everyone's opinion mm -hmm. and get them to the point of, do I know who I am? What's the root cause of my destruction of myself? Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I, I like to take people through the mind mapping exercise to get a, a, a sense of where they are. And we come back, we're going to get um, Andre's opinion on what you said and so forth. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that, um, breaking down the walls, those barriers, those ugly truths that we hide behind. Feeling that onion. Yes. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> Five tacos of cheese and a large soda. That's ten thousand and twelve dollars. Please drive around. Wait, ten thousand what? It's obvious you're buzzed and driving. I've only had a few. I'm fine. Yeah, the food's twelve bucks, but getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around ten thousand dollars in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Please drive around. Actually, just park and come in. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. My savings are gone. Okay, where were they last? Here, right before I spent them on that vacation to Aruba. Weird. Not weird. Not saving now means no money later. For free ways to save, go to feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. Indoor baseball, anyone? <laughs> Most party fouls are pretty dumb, but if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Learn more at ultimatepartyfoul.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Indoor baseball, anyone? <laughs> Most party fouls are pretty dumb, but if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Learn more at ultimatepartyfoul.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Attention, licensed financial professionals. Are you looking to provide client solutions for longevity risks, withdrawal rate risks, and sequence of return risks? If you answered yes, then Game Plan Financial Marketing could be right for you. We help financial professionals at every level of production by providing mentoring, sales training, and marketing support to help you grow your business at game plan our top priority is supporting you and helping you reach that next level of success on your terms not ours new team members receive a personalized step-by-step -step marketing guide to help take your business to the next level claim your copy today call brian cantrell at 404-889-6317 that's 404-889-6317 offer is intended for licensed insurance professionals only Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Destiny Talk Live. We are talking about, are you an imposter? And I want to put it out there, everybody. All of us are running around here as imposters. Absolutely. <laughs> no one is excluded. We got Miss Gladys here talking about her book, Imposter, and my co-host, Andre Tate, on the line. And for everyone that's listening to us on TuneIn Radio, thank you very much for tuning in. We truly appreciate that. And if you want to be a part of the conversation, go ahead, text your comment in or or call at 678-613-5857. And to my listeners that are watching from Facebook, please do the same thing because we, we want to hear what you have to say. So, Andre, before the break, we were talking about some things that uh, uh, that holds us back, that keep us from walking into our destiny. What were you, what are your thoughts on that? Things that hold us back from keeping us walking to our destiny. Um, first of all, I want to say uh, to Ms. Gladys, it's a parent that you experienced great success in your life, which you added to yourself. But I look at the significance that you're doing by your, your, your book and writing the book and your business, and which add value not only to men, but people in general. And uh, I think that is one of the key elements that we need to help us walk into our destiny by having people such as yourself in position to help us go to that next level or that next dimension. Thank you, thank you. And it's all because I made the decision that I matter. Right, yeah. <laughs> I made that decision and I said that I can invest in myself and sit with myself to figure it out and stop running 200 miles an hour, throwing spaghetti up against the wall, going from here to thither, and really sit down and figure it out. And I am telling you, I am living on purpose. Yeah, and you know, I like what you said because you know, you know, you and I had this conversation. We talked about it because um, we're doing the same thing, just differently. Mm -hmm. um, and 
you know, and her book is a workbook. And those of you that know me, that's what we were working on for my first chapters of my book are to turn them into workbooks. So I told her, I said, this is amazing that we, our paths have crossed and we met before, but not really came in, you know, talked much until the timing was right. Exactly. You know, the timing was right. Cause both of us were thinking, yeah, if I reach out to her, she's not going to want to say something to me and bye bye. But I'm glad we put that aside we and we did the, side the, and fear. Did the fear way. And then we, we, we went fear. ahead and met, yeah. which I think is great because I explained to them for me to get to where I am, I had to be able to trust that person I was looking at in the mirror. I had to believe who was talking to me and how many times have you walked in front of that mirror and not like what you see? You know, it's a tough process. And, uh, you know, uh, Miss Gladys, Andre is a, a minister at home, and I know that he sees a lot of different things mm -hmm. and hear from a lot of different people. So, Andre, as in the position that you're in, how would this book, Imposter, help you with people that you're talking to? This book would greatly help me. And uh, I'm going to have to get your information because just listening to you, I'm just uh, a couple of things you talked about. Uh, clarity of purpose, um, your passion, um, talking about your, your, your gifts, your talents, and those are some of the things that people that I deal with, like you said, they have trouble telling you what's my gift or what's my talent. But actually they can give you what they're not good at, but they can't give you the other part. So um, after the show, uh, Cherry G, I would definitely get her <laughs> address so I can get that book. Yes, I'm uh, actually going to... I'm going to actually connect her, um, you guys uh, to her um, as well. But it is important. And, and she and I, we are working on a workshop right now that we're both going to do together. Um, I think it, with the way that we're trying to set it up and we're going to go at it, it's going to it's going to be definitely a good thing for just not just our women, but our men as well. And we want to look at it as how we can be, rebuild family units. Yeah, because we always will tell people, well, you need to go out and change. And what do you mean? You don't know what you want to do. And but you, we don't know how to do. How do I go about doing that? Right. And that's and the so problem. The book gives you a five step methodology of how to go about doing that. But again, you have to do the work. I'm all about you have to do the work. So it takes you through a five C step methodology clarity of purpose creating a plan around that purpose not any old plan but right. a plan around that purpose connecting with purpose not just connecting with any and everybody and giving your card out to any and everybody but connecting with purpose mm -hmm. and then communicating your brand because when you go through this work it's a, like a new transformed you how are you communicating who you are, how are you communicating mm -hmm. in social media and other ways. And then the last uh, step is capitalizing on opportunity. Right. Because we have opportunities, I'm telling you, you have opportunities that are tapping you on the shoulder right now. And we're walking and away from them. And you don't even recognize right. that there's this opportunity that's like slapping you upside the face like a billboard. You know, um, and I like what you said about, you know, discovering your brand. And what she means by that people, your brand is you. Yeah. Your character is your brand. Mm -hmm. The way you live your life, you walk, you talk, and whatever, that's your brand. So if you put scuff marks on your brand because of reckless behavior, what is the message you're sending out to people? Yeah, and you want to achieve something, make a transition, a transformation, but you don't even know how to speak about what it is that you want to do. Right. Because if you can't speak about it, how can anyone help you? Right. If you can't connect with real purpose where three months, six months from now, I say, oh, you know, I met Cherry, and she was talking about this, and I think that you two should connect, and this will be good. That's the kind of connections right. I'm talking about. Right, and and it's it's important, and I, I always joke, Miss Gladys, I tell people my circle is so small, sometimes I forget I'm in it, oh. that, <laughs> that I had to shed that when I started my road to redemption. I had to let go and shed some folks. Oh, yeah. I had to step away what I thought was my passion. I had to step back some and reevaluate, especially when I had my stroke in October of 2016. I learned real quick, fast, in a hurry who was in my corner. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I, uh, we're so busy. Like I said, we run 200 miles an hour. And I always will, first thing I will say to you is, what do you need to stop doing? Right. Let me say that again. What do you need to stop doing? 
Because I guarantee you, all this stuff that we're doing, it does not have to be. It doesn't. And, um, Andre, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. And I want to get your opinion on what people need to stop doing and what you see that is a big problem with a lot of the folks that you talk with. You guys stay tuned. You're listening to Destiny Talk Live. Do you love great fitting jeans with trendy styles? Go to wristdenim.com and check out their fabulous form fitting premium denim jeans, sizes 1 to 24. Their accurate size charts are designed to make your online shopping experience easier, offering free shipping and no hassle returns because their motto is you should look your hottest at all times. Wristdenim.com, jeans for beautiful women. If you want to stand out in the crowd, get your jeans today at wristdenim.com. JBT 700 Miami Circle 30324. It's not a chain. It's a chain reaction. Invest $49 a month at a real gym. For more info, go to facebook.com forward slash jeans body tech. You use tearless baby shampoo because it's gentle on your baby's eyes. You make sure his toys don't have any sharp edges. You always test the bath water to make sure it's not too hot. You taught her what to do when the smoke alarm goes off. You make sure she wears a helmet when she rides her bicycle. You put on his sunscreen, even when he's embarrassed his friends will see. You do so much to keep your child safe. But are you using the right car seat for your child? Is your child facing the right way in the car seat? Is the seat too big or too small? How do you know when it's time to move your child into the next type of seat? Car crashes are a leading killer of children ages 1 to 13. Protect your child's future at every stage of life. For information on the right seat for your child, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. That's safercar.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Having trouble finding Connor's middle school? Would you like directions? No. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. No, I'm, I'm tired of fighting with him over homework. Home, walk, restaurant. Need a review? No, I need help. He's very smart, but his mind wanders. He's disorganized. Organized. I think I understand. Oh, God. Finding best potatoes for French fries. No! Russet, fingerling, Yukon uh, gold. Why don't you understand me? Sorry, I was trying to show how Connor feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. For the one in five kids with learning and attention issues, this is what life can feel like. Explore understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues designed to help your child thrive in school and in life. Understood.org, because understanding is everything. Brought to you by understood.org and the Ad Council. Leaders aren't born. They're made, and not just anywhere. They're made in special places by special qualified trainers in places like the Academy of Creative Coaching. The Academy of Creative Coaching is an international certification program with courses in health and wellness coaching, spiritual coaching, relationship coaching, executive coaching, life coaching, and cultural competency coaching. Courses are online, hybrid, or face-to-face. The Academy of Creative Coaching is empowering coaches to empower the world. Make a positive change in yourself and the world. Go to academyofcreativecoaching.com. Deliberate dumbing down. Dumb down society. Deliberate dumbing down of America. Dumbing down public. Why would they do it? Sensation Station Network. Radio, not dumbed down. No word in the English language is less convincing than probably. Are you sure we should get matching tattoos on our first date? Sure. Um, we'll probably stay together. Probably? <laughs> it's been 23 minutes since I ate. I can probably swim. Uh, you should wait 30 minutes. Mm, okay, now tell me what to do. Cannonball! Cramp! Oh, I have a cramp. I can probably hit the green from here. Probably. Can I get a mulligan? Ready to go? Hey, are you sure you're okay to drive? Yeah, I'm pretty sober. Yeah, I'm probably okay. Probably okay isn't okay, especially when it comes to drinking and driving. If you're drinking, call a cab, a car, or a friend. 
buzz driving is drunk driving. A message brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Up in the sky, it's a bird! It's a plane! Hey, welcome back to Destiny Talk Live. This is your host, Sherry G, along with my co-host, Andre Tate, who is on the line, and Miss Gladys. We're trying to help everybody understand that we're all walking around here being imposters and how we can be our true selves. So, Andre, um, you were saying earlier in the break um, that it was this book is going to be a good asset to you with helping um, with a lot of people that you talk to. And I know um, you do a lot of counseling. Let's talk about the ladies that you help with. What are some of the biggest fears and concerns they come to you with? Well, uh, one of the things is their self-worth. Uh, a lot of times, uh, you have women, also men, the, the environment that they grow up in mm-hmm. has a major effect on their life. It's either their parents, could be a teacher, friends, but I'm finding that one particular thing that they do not know their self worth, and that holds a lot of women back because of they are too more concerned about what other people think about them, and growing up things that they allow to come into their life, their subconscious mind, and it's still there today. Yeah, that's that's pretty deep because um, I can being a woman can totally. Uh, you know, appreciate that and just agree because it is because I can, I'm just sitting here when you were talking, just thinking about things that held me back for quite some time, you know, and, um, Gladys, uh, Andre and I tease each other. Uh, Andre was the first person I met when we moved to Florida <laughs> and the neighborhood we've been knowing each other since we were nine years old. And, um, um, I talk about him a lot because of the fact that, we we had this relationship growing up that everybody thought we were freaking frat. You know, you saw one, you saw the other. <laughs> and, and I tell him when I was going through my journey to finding out who I was, he was my saving grace back then, and he didn't even know it. Mm. You know, it was just whenever he would come around, I always saw him happy. So I would tell him, like, when I wanted to have a bad day or be mad, he'd have this smile on his face, and then I'd be mad because now I have to laugh and smile because he's doing it. You know, but he just don't know, and I tell him all the time, you just don't know how you saved my life through a lot of things. Because when I was tired and ready to just walk away from it, I could hear him, his giggle, his laugh, and we had separated for some time, but he just, he was just that much of an importance to me, and that's why I wrote in my book that I tell people that you don't know whose life you're saving. You don't know, and you don't even have to be around. It was just the memories that we had as children and growing up through high school and whatever that kept me from doing reckless, a lot of reckless stuff, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I attribute that to him. And so to hear that, I can look back and say, yeah, I did do a lot of holding on to some nonsense. Mm-hmm. And, you know, even me coming into my business, coming from corporate, and I was successful in corporate, and coming from corporate into my own business, I had self-worth issues. Is anybody going to really pay me to do this? Is anybody really going to listen to my message? Mm -hmm. Is anybody going to really buy my book? Is anybody going to really show up? You know, am I charging too much? Nobody's really going to want to pay that. Right. That's all worth self-worth issues. Right. Right. And I had to go through why was I defining myself by that Mm -hmm. and behaving. Right that way because mm-hmm. you behave like you don't feel you're worthy right right and i had to change that and i do you do this a moment to moment thing it's right. not well i can get through get clear of that and then now i can move on it comes up right and the thing is it doesn't happen overnight it. Yeah. it does not happen overnight it's right. a work it's progress it's work in progress you know you keep challenging, challenging. that right feed. keep challenging it you know nobody's gonna come to my workshop we'll have a workshop and see who comes. Right. My thing if is, nobody comes. Uh, don't define yourself by that. Understand what could you have done different, better, right. differently, and then you try it again. Right. Yeah. Because you know, um, nothing beats a failure but a try. Yeah. And you know, and I had to do that within myself because I was looking at and how I came to the realization: if I can build and help everybody else's company run smoothly, why can't I build me? Mm-hmm. You know, I've had the people, they're not going to like your show. People aren't going to catch on to what you're doing. They're not going to, I don't even entertain that anymore because my thing is what's for me is out there right. and what isn't, you can move on. Right. And you know? supposed to be there. It will be there. To be there. Right. 
you know. Right, and right. so that's how I had to define myself. But I had to build myself to that because I was broken. I'm yeah. not even going to lie. I was broken spiritually, mentally, emotionally, yeah. you know what I mean, and physically. And I would just say to that point, to everybody, when you're in that space, and we all get into that space, men and women, be gentle with yourself. Right. Because we can be, beat yourself up. Yes, I was going to say, we can beat us up. You are going through it to learn something more about yourself. That's why you're going through it, is to learn more about who you, you are. are. Your likes, your dislikes, your exactly. quirks. Exactly. Because I could tell you everything about everybody else that was involved with me but me. When it came down to me, it was like, uh oh, what I got to do now? <laughs> you know? This whole message is to for you to get to know you. Mm hmm. To be you, mm -hmm. love you, and to do it unapologetically. And that's the word I use all the time. I am unapologetic of who I am now in my life, what I do, the message I put out there. Because you know what? It's all about me. I am what, what I, I am. am. Stay tuned. <laughs> Coming to Tampa Bay, I said we want to win a Super Bowl, and I believe we will. From IamSecond.com. We came close, but never really did win that championship. Former NFL head coach Tony Dungy. At the end of my sixth year, I was fired, and it was one of the biggest disappointments of my life. Next year, I'm in Indianapolis, get to the playoffs, but get knocked out again. And for the next couple of years, it's the same thing. Everyone is saying Colts are never going to win one. And I did wonder why didn't it pan out the way I thought it would. But I determined that I had to have Christ first and that everything else came below that, including my own desires. The next year, that ended up being our year to, to go to the Super Bowl and win it. And it was a wonderful feeling. Every decision I make, I'm going to make it through the lens of Jesus Christ. And he got us to that ultimate victory. I'm Tony Dungy, and I am second. Attention, licensed financial professionals. Are you looking to provide client solutions for longevity risks, withdrawal rate risks, and sequence of return risks? If you answered yes, then Game Plan Financial Marketing could be right for you. We help financial professionals at every level of production by providing mentoring, sales training, and marketing support to help you grow your business. At Game Plan, our top priority is supporting you and helping you reach that next level of success on your terms, not ours. New team members receive a personal personalized step-by-step -step marketing guide to help take your business to the next level. Claim your copy today. Call Brian Cantrell at 404-889-6317. That's 404-889-6317. Offer is intended for licensed insurance professionals only. JBT 700 Miami Circle 30324. It's not a chain. It's a chain reaction. Invest $49 a month at a real gym. For more info, go to Facebook.com forward slash Jeans Body Tech. Did you just look down at your phone? You did it again, didn't you? You know, you're flying down the road in a three-ton hunk of steel. And a text takes your eyes off the road for an average of five seconds. At 55 miles per hour, that's long enough to travel the length of a football field and cause some serious damage. Turn it off. Trust me. Whatever it is, you'll live. Learn more at StopTextStopRex.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Hey everybody, this is the part of the show where we want to say happy birthday to all of our people born today. I want you guys to have a happy birthday and make sure that you turn up, turn up one for me, but be safe about it. Happy birthday to Rodrigo Cuervo, Margarita Sacido, Joe Mars, Sheridan Mills, and Vincent March. Happy birthday guys out there and have a great day. And then for anybody out there that's experiencing some things in life right now that you just don't know where to go or what to do and it's kind of got you down, listen, we want to let you know we're out here for you. There's somebody here listening to you and there's somebody here to help you. Always go to Destiny Talk Live page, type in a message, send it to us, and we're going to tell you how to get to Miss Gladys. So if you want to go through the imposter training in class, we're going to let you know how you can do that as well. So happy birthday, guys. Thank you. 
When I was little, I didn't talk for a long time. I was sensitive to lights and sounds, so I built secret hiding places where they couldn't get in. Sometimes I do the same things over and over, until one day I found out I had autism. My family got me help. Slowly, I learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org slash signs. Brought to you by Autism Speaks and the Ad Council. Great leaders aren't born. They're made. And not just anywhere. They're made in special places by special qualified trainers in places like the Academy of Creative Coaching. The Academy of Creative Coaching is an international certification program with courses in health and wellness coaching, spiritual coaching, relationship coaching, executive coaching, life coaching, and cultural competency coaching. Courses are online, hybrid, or face-to-face. -face. The Academy of Creative Coaching is empowering coaches to empower the world. Make a positive change in yourself and the world. Go to academyofcreativecoaching.com. Attention, licensed financial professionals. Are you looking to provide client solutions for longevity risks, withdrawal rate risks, and sequence of return risks? If you answered yes, then Game Plan Financial Marketing could be right for you. We help financial professionals at every level of production by providing mentoring, sales training, and marketing support to help you grow your business. At Game Plan, our top priority is supporting you and helping you reach that next level of success on on your terms, not ours. New team members receive a personalized step-by-step -step marketing guide to help take your business to the next level. Claim your copy today. Call Brian Cantrell at 404-889-6317. That's 404-889-6317. Offer is intended for licensed insurance professionals only. Did you just look down at your phone? You did it again, didn't you? You know, you're flying down the road in a three-ton hunk of steel. And a text takes your eyes off the road for an average of five seconds? At 55 miles per hour, that's long enough to travel the length of a football field and cause some serious damage. Turn it off. Trust me. Whatever it is, you'll live. Learn more at StopTextStopRex.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Hey guys, welcome back to Destiny Talk Live. If you're just joining us, our question to you today is, are you an imposter? And we're not talking about somebody that's obviously out there being fake, but you could be fake and not know it. You know, you live in a, a double life. We all have a double life. Andre, we're going to open this up with you because we're talking about the family section, and I know that you deal a lot with families. What are some of the biggest problems that you see that are the breakdown in our family units? One of the, the, the biggest breakdown is um, the parents. Uh, you may have both parents there, but they're really not there. And uh, you may have one parent, let's say the father, doesn't show the kids any type of uh, support, encouragement, affirmation. And affirming your kids goes a long way because you don't know what they get at school or where, uh, amongst their peers. But if they can get that affirmation from their parents, uh, it would take them a long way and they won't get so caught up in what she say, what he say about me, but it's all about what my parents say. So that's one of the main issues that I have with the, the family system, uh, with the, the father or the mother being absent. They could be there physically, but mentally they're not there. And, you know, I, I, that that's a good point because, um, my biggest question, we talked about this too before Andre and, um, Miss Glass, I'm going to bring it out to you. Um, a lot of times, if you're broken, how can you fix somebody else? Right. Wow. Good. That's right. You can't. You can't, you can't. possibly be there from sub somebody if you're broken. Right. So we have to start with being present with ourselves. Right. And being aware that we're not connecting. Yep. Because it brings me to another video that was sent to me about a young lady that was taking her kids to drop them off at their daddy's house. He didn't want them there. They out there in the yard fighting. She's telling them to get out the car. He's telling them to get in the car. Kids go to screaming and crying. And whoever the person was that was filming it was like, oh, my God, I don't know what's going on. But you're still filming this nonsense. Mm -hmm. And then we put that image on the kids. Let me tell you all something. Um, what I want our men and our women to stop doing. Y'all were all good at when y'all were laying down and making this baby. And when you get this baby and y'all break up, then both of y'all talk negative about each other. Stop it. 
on social media. And it's, and it, uh, a young lady was just killed on social media last week watching it. Blew my mind. Didn't know what was going on. It popped up, but he sat there. He said, you want to be on famous on Facebook? You want to talk about me? Shot it right there on Facebook. And you, you can't take that image out your head. Wow. You know, so now I don't click on videos when somebody send them to me talking about watching her tag, you know, and I, mm -hmm. I, I can't get that image, but watched her die on Facebook. Here's what I'm trying to tell you guys. It's when you have kids involved, it's no longer about you. Now, I can say this to people because, and anybody that knows me, I didn't down my ex-husband. I didn't talk bad about him. I didn't have to. Because, you know, when your kids get older, they're going to figure it out on their own. And I wanted them to be able to go to his home, go to my home, and be at peace. They didn't have to figure out who's the better parent. I didn't put them through that. I know everybody don't feel like, oh, you don't have, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Because he was all that when you made the baby. So he And she was all that when you made the baby. So let them be all that when you split. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. there, what is the benefit of downing each other in front of your children? Let them decide how they want to feel or interact with each parent. Yeah, and I say that it is when you have children about your children because you brought them in right. and it becomes your responsibility. But it's also your responsibility to know you. Right. And to fix you, to know what is it, what are your weaknesses and right. things that you need to work on for yourself to become a better parent. Right. Right. And then you have to then do the work to become that. And, you know, I'll, I'll share this. Like when, uh, with me being on the imposter a aspect, I really tried not to let my kids see the negative behavior. Now, I, I drank a lot. I had a drinking problem. But they never saw that because mm -hmm. I was so good at hiding it, honey. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I could walk okay. around, be sitting up here talking to you, be toe up. But the thing was, I tried to make a conscious effort not to let them see that. And when my oldest daughter had to help me in the house, that was the last time right. that I, I drank like that. Because I think we we say that they don't, other people don't see us being in this imposter mode. But they do. But I'm going to tell you that they do. They do. And that's what I was saying. I what When I started writing down and figuring out my life, I realized what I thought people were seeing right. wasn't what they were seeing. Exactly. Andre, what do you think about that? Well, I, I think it's, it's, you got making great, great points here um, in reference to uh, the parents, you know, taking the role of being a parent. Uh, but like you said, there's a saying that says, um, uh, they don't know what they did what was to talk to them. I'm saying it wrong. You don't know but what you don't know. Right, exactly. Yeah. They did the best with what they had, what they was taught. And we have to realize also that, but in the same term, okay, it's true, but I can't just let that be my answer. Right. Uh, like uh, you said, I have to get help. Let me go to a, a parenting class. Let me learn this. Let me learn that about being a parent to my kids because my parents, they didn't really, they didn't really, they wasn't parents to me. And so I think we make that as an excuse sometimes. Right. But I think, like you said, with everything, all the education, the different avenues that we have, there's no excuse. And and it's true because you if, you, if you think about this, let's you know uh, we we can't use that as a crutch. Well, I'm only doing what my environment is or what I learned when I growing up when I grew up. We have too many resources available to us now for yes. us to hold on to that as a crutch because that's what it is. It's a crutch, and then we don't want to be accountable. We don't want to be accountable for our actions. We don't want to say, "Oh, I was junkie." I'm here to tell you, all of us are junkie and secrets. I'm gonna say it again. Y'all keep hearing me say it. Nobody has any secrets because somebody was in that mess with you. Mm -hmm. So there is no secret. Mm -hmm. There's none. So, Andre, what would you tell parents right now that if you were sitting down and talking with them, what's the first step that you would tell them to well, do? Well, the first step, like you just said, we, we talked about resources. I mean, in today's society, I mean, anything that you need help on, you got it. You have the, 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 the web. You have different organizations that offer free classes, and that would be my first thing to get yourself educated so you can get help to help your kids instead of making excuses and about, well, it wasn't my fault, it was my parents' fault. It could have been your parents' fault, but, hey, now it's on you now. Yeah, I'm looking at the, the man or the woman in the mirror. Now it's time for you to to just to make some decisions in your life by using the resources that we have today. Yep, I, and Miss Gladys, let me ask you this. Um, social media, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. it, it could be an enemy and it could be a friend. Mm -hmm. And I think what you said earlier, a lot of people live their life out on social media. How mm -hmm. dangerous is that? I think it's dangerous to our society because we don't even communicate anymore. That's how we communicate, through social media, through texting. There's no real touch, feel, interaction, verbal connection. No conversation. Really having friends. Right. Because those, all of those thousands of people you have on Facebook are not your friends. Well, that's what people think. Oh, I got a thousand likes. Okay. Right. You know, right. what, what does that mean? It, it, you know, and I had uh, someone, because um, I post black history facts every day. I'll put something out about that and, you know, my little trailblazers. And I had someone email, well, send me a message that said that I needed to stop doing that because all it was doing was sending out negative vibes. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm only sending out and talking about what's true and what's history. Mm -hmm. But, and I went to go look and see who they were and their page, and I seen what was on their page. And I'm like, you, and you over in my box, please get out my my inbox. And then I told them, just delete me as a follower because you don't have to follow me. Right. You're, this, uh, this obviously isn't for you. You know, right. because what I'm not going to do is debate with somebody on what I feel is what I'm comfortable with. At doing. And I think especially for the younger kids, I do a Girls Ignited program for high school girls. Mm -hmm. It's my love and my give back mm -hmm. into the community. And I was doing a workshop and the girls was talking about how they're being uh, discussed in very negative ways on Facebook or Snapchat mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. whatever that is. And I said, well, why are you still friends with that person or those people who are attacking you on Facebook. It's too easy to just disconnect. Disconnect. So why are you continuing to have that connection with people who are making you feel bad about who you are? Because, you know, again, I used to tell my kids growing up, when someone talks about you and you know it's not true, they're jealous they can't be you. Feel 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 good about it because they're up in your cred. I know it's a, a crazy way to think, but it let them know you are somebody. Don't go down, dumb down to them, and exactly. bring them up to your level. Say about that. Listen, as a hiring manager, I've got to tell you, the best job candidate isn't always the typical candidate. Sometimes they're a grad of life. Meet the grads of life. Young adults of unique determination and experience. An ideal fit for your company in an entry-level position, internship, or mentorship. They might not have every qualification you typically look for, but they're exactly who your company needs. Sometimes the best candidates aren't the ones you're used to. Go to gradsoflife.org to learn how to find, cultivate, and train this great pool of untapped talent. Brought to you by the Ad Council and gradsoflife.org. Major key alert. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it. So make it. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at Get school.com brought to you by get schooled and the ad council listen as a hiring manager i've got to tell you the best job candidate isn't always the typical candidate sometimes they're a grad of life meet the grads of life young adults of unique determination and experience an ideal fit for your company in an entry-level position internship or mentorship they might not have every qualification you typically look for but they're exactly who your company needs sometimes the best candidates aren't the ones you're used to go to gradsoflife.org to learn how to find cultivate and train this great pool of untapped talent brought to you by the ad council and gradsoflife.org this is big business this is the american way station, station network see ya Hey everybody, welcome back to Destiny Talk Live. I'm your host, Cherry G. I have my co-host, Andre Tate, on the line. And we're here with Miss Gladys, who is um, co-owner and C well, CEO of Ignite. And we're going to talk more about that. We've been talking about, are you an imposter? Do you know who you are, or are you living in someone else's shadow? Um, if you want to be a part of this conversation, we are on Facebook. You can still type into the Periscope uh, comment section. And uh, we'll answer your question. If you're listening to us on TuneIn Radio, you can text or call into 678-613-5857. So, you know, to, this show has been really great because coming off of sh last week's show, we had we talked about racism in America. And one of our callers had called in and she said, "We what we need to do is re-educate our people. How do we get them to think or see or feel different? Now, this isn't just for people of color. This is for everybody exactly. walking around as an imposter. I don't care what color you are, what race or ethnicity, whatever it is. This, this is to you, too. Mm -hmm. um, 
but she did make the point of how do you educate people? How do you get back out there and tell them? And it's what we're doing now. You have to use your media platforms in a positive way. So I'm talking to you guys out there by using social media. Use it positively. Don't be putting out people fighting or you, you trying to shame some young lady or sh some man. That's not positive. You got to put yourself, like Miss Gladys said, you want to protect your brand and your brand is you. So if you junkie, your brand is junkie, right? Exactly. So how do you want people to know you as? And I know, Andre, we talked about this back in different shows of this bullying online. Mm -hmm. And my thing is, if you know it ain't true, why are you giving it any breath? Because you believe it. Because that's your own feeling of your worth. You know, that's, that's deep. That's, otherwise, you, it, it wouldn't be like just nothing. But because you take that in and you allow yourself to be defined or you're already defined by mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, Andre, so. you're not an empty nester yet. You're just about. So you have your son's high school, right? Yeah, son in high school. Yes. Yeah, so. Actually, one of my daughters came back home. So. Oh, okay. So, well, <laughs> you, you, you're stuck there then. <laughs> <laughs> but let me ask you this, um, because having a child in school now and these schools are out of control, mm -hmm. what are some of the challenges you, you face? Well, I mean, with, uh, like you said, you, know, you have social media. Um, I have to stay on top of my son. Uh, he has a, a he, doesn't, he doesn't have Facebook. I don't have, I have Facebook, but he have a, another particular account, and I definitely check that. I communicate with him. Uh, try on a daily basis to find out exactly what's going on in his life. Uh, there are any issues, and I, and I let him know, hey, man, you can talk to me about anything. I'm not going to sit here and judge you, right. uh, but you can talk to me about anything, and we're going to get through this together. And so we have a pretty much open relationship like that, and so far it's been working for us. You know, I... I I think that's great, because it was like that with my kids, and I used to tell them, you me know, too. you could come and talk to me. And I think my oldest... She just wanted to do the shock factor. She would come and say stuff to me to see how I'm going to react because I don't know. She's so much like me. And it's like, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've had those conversations yeah. too. It's like, mm, mm. okay. But, you know, um, <laughs> it was funny because we, we still, as old as they are now, they're, they're all very mature in, in their own lives. We still have those conversations, yeah. and it's great. And I was a single parent. Me so too. I'm saying to folks out there, you don't, you're not always going to run into the perfect situation where there's both parents in the home. And as um, Andre said earlier, it could be two parents in the home, but that doesn't make it the perfect situation. Mm -hmm. So, Miss Gladys, give us some pointers on how not to be imposters. Take the time to invest in yourself. And... You, there are just so many resources out here that can support you in that effort. Um, you, I can support you as well. And what I've done for this group, can I give them the yes, text message? Yes, please. So what I've done, um, because I love Cherry and what she's doing with Thank Destiny you. Talk Live, is that I've uh, developed this free download for you. And it will take you through the strategic life map I talked about, the clarity of purpose, that mindset of limitation and mind viruses, your big whys, why you want to do what it is you say you want to do, and will really help you to begin the work to get to know you, be you, love you, and be unapologetic about it. And all you have to do, again, it's a free download, is to text this number, 404 238 seven six two one the word destiny it'll come back quickly bink and ask you for your first name you put that in bink it asks you for the best email address bink and then it'll come back and say we're going to be sending you an email in a moment and you will get that email from me and in that email we'll have that download i am telling you i've taken coaching clients through it take it download it do the work. It's an excellent way for you to begin this process of getting to know you. And guys, I'm going to make sure that that's posted on our, our page so you can get that because what that did, and I'm glad, Miss Gladys, you brought that up, we are going to have an imposter workshop. Mm -hmm. We're working on the particulars now, and it's going to be launched on the page. So we're going to make it available to our audience that 
are not here in Atlanta. So you will be able to be a part of that discussion in that process that we're walking through. So we're going to make sure your state, you, you're connected to that. But I do appreciate you doing that because it is something that we need to do and it's important and it's for everybody. Now, Andre, before we air out of here, give us one point or something or something you want to say to Ms. Gladys and to our listeners on what they can do about checking their who they are. Well, uh, one quick question, Ms. Gladys. You know, I've um, I've been ignited by you. <laughs> I ignite the fire, and I'm ready to go to that next level. And I'm, I'm ready to write my book. I'm ready to start my business. What type of uh, marketing resource or strategy that you could give me? Um, well, it really, you want to make sure you really understand what is it that you want. What does that mean? Right. Mm -hmm. You want to write a book about what, for what purpose, who you want to impact. I mean, so there are some questions you need to be asking yourself so quickly. We say, well, I want to do this. I want to do this. and I want to do that. Well, that's great. Mm -hmm. But how do you go about doing that? And so it's difficult for me to just say that, like, right this moment. You got to assess the Sometimes you need to get someone to work with you, a partner to work with you through that process, mm -hmm. right? And that's about investing in you, me as a coach, and working with you and coaching you through mm -hmm. getting you from one point to the next point. Right. Sometimes you can't do it all by yourself, or you need to go to through some resources. So I say make sure you know what you want, because otherwise you're going to spend a whole lot of money. Unnecessarily. Unnecessarily building websites and doing all of this stuff. I did it. And, don't and do nothing then you with don't it. even, you, you got to start all over again. Right. I've done that. I started out with GNL Global Services, yeah. right? And I had, I started talking about it. I'm like, that's not resonating with me. Right. And I had to go back in and say, well, who am I? Right. And that's why I said I had to go in and ignite something within me to figure it out. Wow. So just awesome. don't, I say slow your roll. Right, and then get it together. And see, that's yeah. like that's like with me because I have the company, my parent company is Alleviate. And that word came because I want to alleviate, get rid of all the stress. And then in order, once you alleviate, then you can walk into your destiny. Mm -hmm. So that's how Destiny Talk came apart of oh, like Alleviate, that. Inc. So there's a backstory yeah. to my story. So what I'm saying out here to all of my listeners, we were sitting here talking to Miss Gladys and Andre today, and we talked about being an imposter. Being an imposter means that you are living a lie. You're living two lives. You're not walking into your full potential. You don't understand who you are. And if you do understand who you are and you're not fulfilling your purpose or destiny, you're living your life as an imposter. What we do here on Destiny Talk Live and what we've been doing since we've been on air since September 9th is try to encourage, empower, and enrich our listeners to make a difference and a purpose in their life. If you're out there, it's not too late. If you've done things that you're not happy about, okay, it's in the past, move on. Learn from it and don't go back to it. But if you want to get help and you want to do some things and you want to change, we're going to make sure you have Miss Gladys's information so she can be your life coach. We'll make sure Andre's information is out there so he can be your life coach. And then you have my information. All of us are certified to sit and talk to you and do life coaching. You can reach us on DestinyTalkLive at gmail.com or just simply go to our Facebook page, Destiny Talk Live, and send us a message and we'll connect you with the right people that can help you with whatever it is that you are going through and just stay tuned guys because and i'm gonna make sure you have that information on how to download that app um miss gladys give it to him one more time for me please okay and this is to download it's a workbook it's 404-238-7621 and just text the word destiny d-e-s-t-i-n-y and we're going to go from there. And you guys, listen, stay tuned to who you are. Stay in tune. Um, if you got some things that you're not happy with in your life, it's okay. I tell people journal. Journal down every day that something is happening or something is changing. But don't read it. Write it in the book and shut it. It's telling you it's something. It's telling you something. And then when you go back to read it, wait till the end of the week to do so. And you can see what your progress is. Everybody works in different ways. Everything happens for them in different ways. But I just want to encourage all of you to be who you are, be your best you, and don't let anyone tell you 
who you are, what you can't do, and don't let fear keep you from going into your next destiny. I always say, and I learned this from someone else, fear is find every available resource. resource. So fear can no longer hold you back. It's only going to push you forward. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank you, Miss Gladys, for thank being you. with us today on the it's show. Been great. And Andre, as always, I thank you for being a part of taking time out of your business schedule to be on the show with us and help educate and enlighten our listeners and our viewers and we just want to give a big shout out to to the sensation station network for always pushing the word out there and helping us getting things done you guys we're here for a purpose and our, and our journey isn't over it's just beginning so i want to say thank you so much for tuning in and miss gladys thank you again and andre thank you. Thank you, as always. Guys, you have been listening to... Can't wait to meet you, Andre. You have been listening uh, to... I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> you are listening to Destiny Talk Live. You can do this to me. I'm the man up in this piece. Sensation Station Network.